Okay, so let's work through um, the following question. So what? So you're given this shape here. So what we have, we have a cone and a hemisphere. And what you're being asked to do, so the first part of the question, so a toy consists of a cone, which is fix, fixed exactly on top of a hemisphere. So you can see it's fixed exactly here on top of the hemisphere. Uh, the common radius is five centimeters, so this is our radius, and the slant height is 13 centimeters. So first of all, find the height of the cone. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find this height here, h, the height of the cone. Now if we look at this, what we have, we actually have a triangle. And let's do this here. Let me just make this up. So it's not taking up so much space. So if we have a look at the cone here, we actually have a triangle. So one side, this side here is 13 centimeters. So this is 13. And the bottom is five. And it's the height here that you're, you're trying to work out. So we will call this side A, side B, and side C. So if we remember, Pythagoras' theorem, a squared is going to be equal to b squared plus c squared. So this side, which is a, a, so if we square that side, that side squared, should I say, will be equal to this side squared plus this side squared. So using this Pythagoras' theorem, we can work out what the height is of the cone. So what would that look like? So we have a, so it's going to be 13 squared. So we put in what we have. So 13 squared is equal to five squared plus uh, c squared. And this is, this is what we're trying to work out, this side c, which is the height of the cone. So we can work this out and then just use basic algebra to figure out the height of the cone. So if we take, let's square these, so 13 squared is 169. So this is 100, 169 is equal to five squared plus c squared. So five, squared is equal to 25. So it's equal to 25 plus c squared. Now what we want to do is we want to get this c squared on its own, so we need to get rid of the 25 from this side. So in order to get rid of the 25, this is plus 25, so I have to minus 25. If I minus 25 from this side, I have to minus 25 from this side. So what will happen is these two will cancel out, and 169 minus 25, so 169 minus 25 is equal to 144. So 144 is equal to c squared. Or you can just write it like this, which is, so this is equal to, so c squared is equal to 144. Now what I want to do is I want to get rid of this uh, index here. So the opposite of an index is a power. So if I get if I get the power of this, that will cancel out the index or the, the if I sorry if I get the square of this it'll cancel out the power. So if I get the square of this side I have to get the square of this side as well. So what will happen is this will cancel out the two and you'll just be left with C. So if you take the square of something, the opposite of that is the, um, so let's say the opposite of the square is the, is the power, is the index. So let's say a to the power two, okay? So these are opposite each other. The same as if you have division, the opposite of that is multiplication and the same with addition and subtraction. Um, okay. So C then is going to be equal to the square root of 144. And the square root of 144 is equal to 
So 144 to be squared is equal to 12. So it's equal to 12. So therefore we can say that the height, so h or the height is equal to 12 centimeters. And again, it's important as you go along, just check the answer uh, with, the, with the answer at the back of the book. So the height is equal to 12 centimeters, so that's correct. Okay, so that's the first part. So that's question one. And this is your answer. Okay, so that's part one. So the next part, so that's that one done. So the next part then is find the total surface area of the toy given your answer correct to three significant figures. So what we're trying to do is we want, now we're gonna be dealing with like the, the uh, surface area. Okay, so if we think about the cone, we wanna get the curved surface area. And this is the formula that we're gonna use. And then for the hemisphere, we wanna get the um, curved surface area on the hemisphere as well, which is going to be this from in here. So we want to get this curved surface area and then this curved surface area. And then if we add them together, that will be equal to the total surface area of the toy. So it's the total area of the toy surface that's in, that's in contact with its environment. So it's going to be this one plus this one. So what we're saying is that, so the total surface area, so of the toy is going to be equal to the curved surface area of the cone, which is pi times r times l. And l is, is this guy here, plus it's the slant length, plus the curved surface area of the hemisphere, which is two pi r squared, okay. So we add these two together. Now, what we have to do is we want to try and figure out, like, what do we have? So we have the radius. So the radius is equal to five centimeters. So we can just write these up here. So radius is equal to five. So we got that from the question. And um, the length, the slant length, which in this case is L, is equal to this guy here, 13 centimeters. Just write these five centimeters just to keep everything in order. Um, okay, so that's so that's what we have. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out we need to figure out um, like what's what if we put everything into this formula, what's it going to be equal to? So this is going to be equal to um, so it's pi times r, which is five. times length, which is 13, plus two times pi times five to be squared. Okay, so then we can just, we can we can work, the, work these out. So let's work out this side first. So it's going to be, so cancel this. So it's going to be pi multiplied by five multiplied by 13. So, so it's two, and if we keep it to three significant figures, um, let's just keep, let's keep two decimal places for a start. So 204.20, so we'll say this is 204.20, so 204.20. Okay, that's what this, this here, when you work it out plus two times pi times five to be squared. Let's work that one out. Cancel, so if we take five to be squared is 25, multiplied by pi, which is that, okay, which is equal to that, and then multiply that by two, which is that. So 157.07, Let's keep to so 1.157.08, 1 
0.7.08 and then what we want to do is just add these two together so this plus 204.20 is equal to 361.279 so we say this is equal to so this I said it was 361.279. Okay, so that's when you add up these two parts, that's what it's equal to. And it asks us to keep so three significant figures. So you want three you want to keep three significant figures. So what that means, so this here will be the first, this will be the second, and then this will be the third significant figure. So you want to keep this three significant figure. So you look at the number afterwards. If it's less than five, you just cut all of this off. If it's five, if it's five or greater, you bring this number up to, you increase this number. So this to three significant figures is going to be equal to three, six, one. So three, six, one. And um, so that should be our answer. So let's just check that and make sure that we have the uh, right answer. So three, six, one. Okay, and that's it there. Okay, perfect.